Right then, here we are. We're going to um, start laying out the racking for the for the Beastie Room shelves. And what we've done, this is a good little trick, this one. This is a simple little trick. What we do is we use a piece of racking to go along the bottom here, on there. So we screw that onto the wall, which we're about to do in a second. So we'll put that in now. We've already marked our hole where we're gonna be. It's like ring a ring of roses here. Hey, don't start that mucking about. So what we're gonna do, we're literally gonna drill a hole here. We've already leveled it. Put it on hammer, that helps. Another good thing to remember there actually, if you've got hammer on your drill, use it, because it will give you a cleaner, cleaner hole than it will if you're just drilling it, like a screwdriver drill. So I'm gonna put this one up in here. Put that in there. Back. Check for level. Right. And what we're going to do now is we're going to follow that along the room. So we'll put another one in here. And then what we can do, camera lady comes around here, the other side. And what we do is we basically take this one up to there. We use our level. We've got that. So, get me to there. That's about it. All right, I'm gonna take that to the plug socket, because that's our furthest point. So that is there. Here's our bradle. Right there, turn it off. So I'm literally gonna drill this one out here. It's a good sound. It's a good sound. So this is the time consuming bit really when we muck around with these little bits here, but it's this is the important bit. Right. Are we still on? Are we still here? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to pick this end up here. Get this level. Is it there? And there. Another hole. Now we're seasick. Just double check our level again. We're good. So what we've done now is we've got our, our low line 
running through the bottom of the room. So we've got our racking that we're going to use for the actual shelving. So what this does is now, it means that we can take our racking, we can just place it on there, put it on the wall. And all we need to do is we need to just measure the gaps between our uprights. Now, because we're using quite a lot of weight on, on this shelving, with our tanks, when they're all full up, they're actually gonna be quite heavy. So what we do is most important. We put these roughly, I have mine roughly two feet apart, two and a half feet maximum. And then what, so what we do is we measure them out at two and a half feet intervals. And then when we place them on the, on the beam like that, we level them up using our level. We get them to a point where they're absolutely upright. And then we can mark our holes correspondingly through, through, the, um, through the upright. And by having them on here, it means that when we put our rack on, you will find... If you've done this before, if you've not done it like this, if you've literally just put this in, uprighted it, then tried to put your next one in and got your level like that, it's very, very hard. And what you'll find is, is when you put your um, brackets on, you'll find maybe this bracket will be here, but when your next bracket goes on, it might be slightly lower, slightly higher. And this, by doing it in this method, this will alleviate that. Your brackets will be identical all the way through, which is really, really important because of the weight we're using and because of how we want our shelves to sit, we don't want no movement in our shelves. So it's very important that they are all absolutely level. So spend your time and get this one here level and everything will then fall in line and all be level. So that's all we need to do. <clears throat> and then once we've got these all up on the wall, we can take these ones down, take them away. We don't need them anymore. So what we're going to do now is we are going to measure um, two and a half foot intervals across and we can basically do this. Now one of the things you may, you may ask is um, we've only come to the end here. We've not come fully to the end here. And that is because our next row of shelves will be running this way and they will run into this side here. So the, the anchor point for, for the shelf on this wall will actually be on this wall. It won't be on this one. So our last shelf line will be there. So we'll be coming this way. It will all make sense in the end. Won't it, my love? Yes. It will. Right. So what we're gonna do now, I need a camera lady to help me now. Um, You see, you put yourself in a corner. I like that. Yeah, in the corner. Right. Don't know. So we go down to the line onto our board, and we need to be. So to here we are eleven feet. So two and a half into eleven feet. Where would that go? Two and a half, five. So that'd be to ten, wouldn't it? Which is there. So that will. No, not ten times. Not him, Danny, Benny. All right, let me measure this now. So what we're going to do? We're going to put one in at and at six. Right. And then we're going to measure. Sometimes. If you're like me and you struggle with working it out in your head, it's sometimes you have to come back and do this again and again and again. Right, can you hold this for me, my love? Hold it on that line there. Two, one, two, three, four, five. So 30 inches. So every 30 inches. Well, that was lucky, wasn't it? Right on the gap. Right on the gap. Doesn't have to be precise, 
but as close as as close as damn it would help. There we go. We've got one in there. So there we are. So that is that. So that's going to end up with one, two, three, four, five uprights in that wall to take all of that all of that weight. So what we're going to do now, we're going to move over to this wall and we're going to put this one in place. This is where it gets tricky. Right. He's that there. We come back over here, my love. This is where it gets a little awkward now. We might need the longer. Hmm. Right. Let's get our measurement from there. She's seven and three quarters. So if we measure. Seven and three quarters is there. Lift your end up. Down a bit. Up a little bit. That's it. Oh, it's not going to reach. Right, can you hold that there? Mm -hmm. Don't move it. <laughs> You've just dropped it. It's actually all right. It's not that bad. Okay. That's fine. So what we'll do is we'll put our first one in here. That's there. These won't be far out. Let's hope anyway. Um, yeah. So as long as they are pretty much there, that's all we need. It's a terrible mess on your nice new carpets. Got to get it level. <laughs> One thing you might find is your level and your assistant's level are quite different. Oh, my love. Good. 
Perfect. And then we can check it this way. Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely spot on. So now, what that means is now we can run our shelving all the way around the room so it will look like one line all the way through. So the, the shelves will be level. The only reason the shelves would differ is if we end up with, we have taller tanks on this wall and shorter tanks on this wall. But if we want something pleasing to the eye, then we'll try and keep our levels the same. What we probably will find in here, because of, we're gonna have to have, bring our frogs and that back, we'll probably find that the level on this one here will be slightly different on the lower shelf. So the very, the very lowest shelf will probably be staggered. Um, but then as we move up, we can bring them in line and get them all the same because all our tanks will be the same size. So it all makes sense in the end. So this is how we set our lower levels so that we can get our uprights all on the same, same even keel. So that will make sense now, yeah? Does that make sense to you, camera lady? <laughs> yeah. Thank God for that. Right. Okay. Right then. That is it. We will move on to the next stage after we've had a cup of tea. Right then. We're back from having our cup of tea. You've got to have a cup of tea. There's no point just slogging away, working yourself into the ground. Stop and have a cup of tea. We've got all our uh, brackets here. Now, uh, this is um, the twin slot and groove bracket that you can buy. We've got this online. Um, comes in different colours. Get it in black like we have it here or we can get it in silver, white, whatever suits your situation. Uh, I personally, I like the black. Um, I just think it looks really smart. But, you know, that's just a personal, personal choice. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna now put the uprights in. We've put our baseline in, so we, we know that we're level, and, um, it's now time to put the uprights. Now, I use a bradle uh, just to mark in where the holes are. So what we're gonna do, we get our first one. I've already marked out the wall in the intervals that I want the, um, the brackets to go. So what we do is we literally just put that on there. It doesn't need to be massively precise. You know, as long as you're roughly there, yeah, a few mil here and there ain't gonna make any difference. So what we do now is we start off by adding the first hole there. Now, we put the first hole in, and this, this will secure our, um, our, our, our bracket. So we literally just, Put that one in there. Our wall plugs. Actually just pop that in there, wipe this off. And it is as simple as this. Put in there. That is it. So then what we do now is we can get our level and we can place that on the bottom, set up against our upright, 
And we then get our level. Which is there. That is level there. Now, there's many holes in the bracket itself. I don't feel the need to actually use every single one of them. I don't think it's necessary. It's amazing how much anchorage one screw will give to a bracket. They don't need every single hole. So I go one at the very bottom. We skip one, two, three. Um, we can go into three. So we'll go up to that one. We'll put one there. And we're one, two, three. We'll put one in here. Like so. And then we'll put one up here. We can either go there or we can go to the very top. I think what we'll do, we'll go to the very top. Oh, that is it. So that's our wall marked. So all we need to do now is literally just move that across to the side. And we can drill our holes. What I will need is my step. Otherwise I'll never reach the top. There we go. I might still not be able to reach. Right. So we'll go on to hammer. Do the first one. Those are wall plugs in. There we are. Let me get our screws. Now what I find best best way to do this now is I just offer this up. We can see through the thing that we're in the wall plug. So just offer them up like that. And we're there. That's it. So now we can literally just screw that to the wall. And that is it. So now we can make sure you've got no dust on the bottom. Get our level back in. We are upright. And that is all we do. And now all we do is we repeat that all the way through the room as we're going. So our next one will come in here. We've got our mark on the wall down there. Place that there. We go again and we work our way all the way around the room. Very, very simple. Right. We'll, uh, let's see how we get on.
And there you go. There's one wall. Now, as you can see there, it didn't take very many minutes, really, just to get these up. So now what we're doing, we now know that all of our racking here is in the right place. So we've got our set things. The reason we separate them and we measure the full length of the, the actual shelf, and then we break that down. So we normally try and go anywhere from sort of like two foot to two and a half foot between the gaps. So these are 30 inches between the gaps at the moment. And what that does is that evens out the weight of the shelf so that we haven't got to worry too much um, because every bracket will be taking an even amount of weight because it's spread throughout the whole shelf, if that makes sense. Now, um, what we do now is we take off the bottom one because we don't need that now. That can go. I think this is as far as we need to go with it, you see. So we can take that off, take that out, just take that off. There is no need. We could leave it, I guess, if we wanted to. You know, it doesn't have to come off. I just think it looks a bit neater if, it, if we take it away. It doesn't need to be there. And we can always use, use that racking for other things. Put them there. So now we've taken that off. And as you can see, this all now should, in theory, be absolutely level. So it doesn't matter where we put our brackets now, we should be good. I hope. He says with confidence. There you go. It should all be there. All be there. Lovely job. Right, we will um, carry on now. We'll do the rest of the room. We'll get them bits in, and then we'll be literally where we need to be. And it should all be three. They're all good. Lovely, right, onwards and upwards. We now take off this. <laughs> well, as you can see, it's really as simple as that. So it's it's not a difficult job. And um, I'm sure many of you have just, you know, I'm not a, a chippy or a craftsman or anything. This is, I'm just a general DIY guy, you know. I just play around and do my thing. Now, I'm sure there's probably tradesmen out there that can um, do this in a different way and maybe do it in a better way. Uh, this is just how I've learned to do it, and it works. You know, it, it, it does the job for me. So um, hopefully you'll get something out of it and uh, it will do the job for you. Now this is more than secure. This racking, we often hear people saying about how much weight it will take. And you will be amazed at how much this actual racking will take. It will take an awful, awful lot. Far more than what you think your tanks weigh. Um, I've had in the, in the old room, you would have remembered, this was done exactly the same way. 
And all it's got is four anchor points, and that is enough, and that holds that whole wall. It's quite incredible. As long as you keep your spaces an even thing, um, no more than two and a half feet apart, that seems to be a really, really nice, happy medium. And um, yeah, these single screws here, they will hold absolutely everything. And as we've done the whole room, we've come around this side. We will do that wall as well, um, but we have to do it a slightly smaller way because of the door opening and things like that. But, um, but yeah, this is the general gist of it. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come out and get the hoover out, and we're gonna hoover up all the mess that we've made and have a little bit of a tidy up. And then we'll get the brackets out and we'll start laying our brackets and we'll work out where we want our heights and then it'll be time to bring in the first shelves. Now, the shelves that we've we brought back from the old Beastie Room are obviously gonna be different sizes, so we're gonna to have to cut some of them. Um, I'm sure cut them or add on to them um, because they're not gonna fit the same way. But because this being a temporary room, we're not worried about um, sort of making do, if you like. So uh, if this was gonna be a permanent thing, I would have been tempted to go out and buy new shelving that would have fitted the purpose and it would have been looking really smart. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna make use of what we've got and um, try and make it look as best as we possibly can. Um, it needs to be fit for purpose, that's the main thing. It's gotta suit, suit the purpose. But um, yeah, now when we, um, we took the bottom rail off, which we used as our guide, you can see down the bottom there, that we've still got the wall plugs in the wall. You can fill these in. Um, personally, I leave them as they are because if for any point or whatever reason I want to add or change this shelving in any way, I can still use my line and it will do exactly the same thing. So I leave them there just because it's, it's, there's a possibility that I might well use them later on. But yeah, you don't need to, it's not necessary. But I think you get the general idea. It's not that difficult to do. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have a tidy up. We're gonna have that cup of tea that camera lady kindly brought in. We're gonna have to grab that now. We'll get that now. It's always good to have a cup of tea while you're working. It gets very warm in here. Um, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna we'll tidy up now, clean up, and then we'll get the brackets out and we'll see where we are. And hopefully, we will be level all the way around. But well, we will see. Right, I'll see you shortly. Let's get, let's get tidying up. 